In this video, we're going to take a look at fuel cells. So a fuel cell is a type of electrochemical cell that can convert uh, hydrogen, methanol, or ethanol, and oxygen into water, carbon dioxide, and heat. And so the reason these are so great is they cause a very little pollution. They're very efficient. Um, they're not rechargeable, but reactions in the cell can continue indefinitely which is fantastic, and they require a steady supply of fuel and oxygen. So um, many advantages to using a fuel cell. So let's get into the two types in this video. We're gonna look at a hydrogen fuel cell and a direct methanol fuel cell, and just take a look at the reactions, what their setup is look like, and uh, how they work. So starting out with the hydrogen fuel cell. Um, now, in terms of components, they are made up of an electrolyte. So the electrolytes here, um, as well as um, this separator. So um, essentially this section in here um, helps to keep the components from, mix from mixing. So for example, the PEM is a proton exchange membrane, um, and it's a polymer that's going to allow H plus ions to diffuse through uh, between the cathode and the anode, but prevents the diffusion of any other ions, electrons, or molecules between the electrodes. So that's good. Um, we also have electrodes. Typically, they're made up of a catalyst that allows the chemical reaction to occur. So we've got um, our anode here and our cathode here. And um, another component not shown here really very well, but a bipolar plate. So that's going to conduct the electrical current from cell to cell um, and ensure the uniform distribution of the fuel cell. So in a hydrogen fuel cell, uh, hydrogen is supplied uh, to the anode while oxygen gas is supplied to the cathode. So hydrogen gas is going in here and oxygen gas is going in here. Um, now we're using hydrogen gas as the fuel. What's really nice about this reaction is we do not produce any greenhouse gases and um, the heat that's formed in the reaction because the reaction is exothermic overall can be utilized which increases the efficiency of the cell. Um, oxygen gas that we're pumping in here can be obtained from the air, so that's great. And uh, typically the catalyst that we use at um, both of our electrodes is platinum. Um, so platinum here, um, it's, uh, it's good, it, it's pretty expensive. Um, so it's expensive to run this on a commercial scale, but it's a, a very, very good sort of catalyst to use for this reaction. Now, the hydrogen gas going in here has to be very pure to prevent poisoning of the catalyst. Um, and so what's happening in our reactions is hydrogen's coming in here, and it gets oxidized at the anode on the surface of this platinum-based catalyst. So uh, the oxidation half reaction that is happening uh, is shown here at the anode. So we're producing hydrogen ions as well as electrons. Now the electrons can't move through this PEM, so they have to leave the cell through an external circuit. And so the electrons are gonna go this way through an external circuit over to the cathode but the hydrogen ions can move through the PEM. And so those are formed at the anode. They're going to cross the PEM to the cathode over here, where they're going to combine with oxygen and electrons. So the electrons are coming in from our circuit, the hydrogen ions are coming here, and the oxygen is being supplied through uh, the other side of our fuel cell. So at the cathode, then we have oxygen and hydrogen um, ions with electrons producing water. So water is the product here and water would be coming out down through this side. Um, so oxygen gas is reduced to form water and water is essentially the waste product. 
And also as a result of this, heat is produced on um, this side of our fuel cell. Now, in terms of sources for hydrogen, there are two main sources of hydrogen gas. Uh, clean hydrogen gas can be produced by the electrolysis of water. So solar cells or wind generators provide the cleanest form of energy for powering the electrolysis, and it's pretty environmentally friendly. The other way we can uh, get a source of hydrogen gas is from steam reforming of hydrocarbons. Um, so the hydrogen gas can be obtained by reacting uh, hydrocarbons with steam. Um, now, part of the problem with that is uh, it will create carbon monoxide gas as a byproduct, and then that could go on and react with uh, the steam, and that could create some greenhouse gases. So it could create some carbon dioxide gas. Um, so not as clean of a source as getting it from the electrolysis of water. Now the direct methanol fuel cell is very similar to the hydrogen fuel cell, except now the source of H plus ions is coming from methanol. So methanol is CH3OH. It's a liquid fuel that can be produced from renewable uh, resources through fermentation, similar to biofuels. And Methanol is a little bit better to use. It's a bit cleaner than hydrogen gas because the method of its production has less impact on the environment in terms of uh, creating some of these greenhouse gases. It also has a greater energy density or energy per unit volume than hydrogen gas. Um, so the methanol would be supplied at the anode here instead of hydrogen gas. And when it hits the anode, um, we're going to get oxidation happening with our water to f form CO2, H plus ions, as well as electrons. And then the electrons flow through our current to the other side. The hydrogen ions can go through our PEM uh, membrane. And then that's going to react with the incoming oxygen, the, the 6H plus and electrons to form water uh, again as our byproduct. Um, so the advantage of not needing to extract hydrogen gas um, is the advantage is not being not needing to extract hydrogen gas because we're using methanol as the fuel. Um, advantages are also, like I said, the higher energy density. However, we do produce some carbon dioxide gas here, uh, which is a greenhouse gas. And um, in terms of the catalyst at the anode and the cathode, we do also require more expensive precious metals. So usually uh, rather, rathenium, I can't, I can't say it, but uh, I will write it on the screen for you here, um, or palladium is another one that's often used. Um, and then one final disadvantage is the toxicity of methanol itself. So methanol is fairly toxic. So those are fuel cells uh, looking at both hydrogen and the direct methanol fuel cell. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.